Hi everyone, so it's Jeanette here from Case Flower School and today our top tips for flowers called ranunculus. So ranunculus are a spring flower but they're actually available or in flower or available from your wholesaler from October till normally May, June. Now you will find like from December to April I suppose would be peak season where they will drop in price and they will be readily available. They come in a full range of colours from your whites, your lemons, your peaches, your golds, shades of pinks. Fabulous flower, now they do have a hollow stem. So because they have a hollow stem, they are difficult to work in floral foam. Or like for making up buttonholes and that, you'll find that your stem will, <coughs> excuse me, your stem will split. But they're ideal for making up bridal bouquets, bridal posies, or even little gift bouquets for people. They only come as a short stem. You'll never be able to get ranunculus as a long stem. The name ranunculus, seemingly it's a Fred or a Latin derivative of the word frog, and seemingly that's to do with the swampy ground that they're grown in. But some people say that the meaning of the word ranunculus is a flower of charm. So if you're trying to charm somebody, so how do you um, treat and condition them? So most times they're sold in 20s or 30s in the suppliers. The bunch that I have here has 30 stems. So when I remove it, you'll find that there's three bunches of 10. So I have removed the plastic from them, which would with most flowers. So we have three bunches of 10s. And it's up to you, you know what I mean? Do you want to wrap them separately or do you want to keep them all together? But most times when you go to buy them yourself, you will obviously have to buy maybe 20 or 30 stems. It's not always possible to just buy small quantities, but as a bunch, isn't that just beautiful just to place in a vase? They're a beautiful flower just on their own, but to be honest, like in wedding work, like to mix them like with other types of flowers, like bovardia or wax, wax flower, even jip, just all foliage, roses, spray roses, to be honest, they work with most flowers. Now they have got that soft kind of like bendy flexible sort of stem. So what I recommend is if you wrap them in paper while they have their first drink. And again it's up to you, do you want to wrap them singly in the tens or do you want to put the 20 or 30 together? I probably find to wrap them in tens it's more secure. So I'm just going to cut up our paper here and I'm going to get my tape ready. So get your 10 stems, catch your paper around them and firmly but gently wrap the brown paper around them and I'll just get my sellotape here, there we go, and secure them with a little bit of sellotape. It's not necessary to leave the paper on indefinitely, but if you could leave them for the first day while they have their first drink, you will find it'll keep the stem straight. Now, but a bit like tulips, they are inclined to go towards the light, so again, that's just a natural part of the flower, you can't really stop that. With all flowers, remove the elastic fans, okay? That can sometimes prevent the water getting up the stem. Take at least two centimetres off on a 45 degree angle and have a clean bucket of water. It's really important that the water is clean and you have to put flower food into the water. You will find ranunculus kind of pollute the water and it's better to change the water a little bit more frequently. So maybe every two to three days, okay? They will last between seven to 10 days and they do like to kind of be kept in a kind of a cooler sort of room. So maybe two to 10 degrees. If you do have any questions on Monoculus, please post them in the comments below and I will get back to everybody. And listen, thanks a million for listening.